Hey, it's Dave Perry. I am with Susan Mathis, Vice Chair of the Better Sleep Council, and we're talking supply chain. Susan, you and I worked on this project a while back. Uh, why did we do a survey on the supply chain? I think, Dave, we were interested in finding out what consumers were experiencing, what delays they might be experiencing, and how did that impact their shopping habits, their perceptions of the industry. Um, and I think we got some really helpful information out of it. I do too. What were a couple of your key takeaways? You know, I, I think we have learned a few things. One, interestingly enough, I was a little surprised to find out that customers, consumers were willing to, I'll say, tolerate up to a month of a delay and still feel under the current circumstances that that was reasonable. Um, I think they have decided that it was the pandemic, it was labor shortages, it was supply chain bottlenecks. They understand that those were the key contributing factors. The beauty in that for us as an industry is they're not blaming the retailer. They're not blaming the manufacturer. They're understanding there's factors out of our control at play. And I, I think that is absolutely the truth, but you don't always know if a consumer understands that. So I think that was great news for us. Yeah, no, I agree. That is terrific news. And uh, consumers who are frustrated are not taking their frustrations out on us and they understand it's this pandemic. So uh, an interesting finding to me, Susan, was the fact that um, we need to do a better job of communication on supply chain issues. Uh, what did we find out there? I, you know, 50, a little over 50% of people felt that they understood at the time of purchase that there would be delays. And, and that's fantastic. I think people can live with a realistic expectation. They can set their plans accordingly. But at the same time, almost 50% only found that out right. after they made the purchase. And you can imagine how frustrating that is. You think you're set, it's ready to go. And then they say, oh, but it'll yeah. be a month before we can get that to you. So I think there's a few things that can be done based on the feedback we got from consumers. Um, a, you know, definitely we need to communicate more and, and more honestly. I think people, again, can deal with the facts as long as they know what they are and they can plan for it. There are things we can do or retailers can do to accommodate the frustration and the inconvenience. We could be offering some sort of discount and, and right. that could be anything. We right. could be offering a free pillow with their purchase, not something they expected, but thank you so much you know, for your patience with us. Here's a gesture, we just wanna do something for you because we understand this was a frustrating time. So for me, Susan, a couple of the key takeaways are that we as an industry are, uh, we're not getting blamed for something that we shouldn't be blamed for. That's actually good news. That is great. And also that we have specific steps that we can take. So. You know, I think this is actionable research, and that is, I think, uh, you know, a real gift that we're giving the industry. So, you know, I salute you and the BSC for the work you're doing. Love, yeah, love that we project. We love having you as part of that because you help us look at information really critically and understand how it impacts all of us. I think it's a great partnership, and I look forward to many more surveys like that. So, thank you, Susan. Same here. Thank you, Dave. Thank you.